It's time for Southern Miss Today. Southern Miss Today is WUSM's news and public affairs program. Southern Miss Today can be heard Monday through Thursday at noon on WUSM. Southern Miss Today is exclusively sponsored by AAA Ambulance in Hattiesburg. And now, to start the show, the news. Good afternoon. Reporting and keeping it current for WUSM News, I'm Kaylee Collada. Looking at your local Hattiesburg news, the University of Southern Mississippi Student Health Services will host Employee Wellness Days October 11th through 12th. During this time, faculty and staff are encouraged to take advantage of their Blue Blue Cross Blue Shield Healthy You Wellness Benefit. This benefit allows Blue Cross Blue Shield members to receive free screenings and immunizations based on gender and age. There will also be a mini health fair in the student service lobby. Refreshments will be available as well as door prizes from several local businesses. For more information, contact Student Health Services. WDAM reported that a former Hattiesburg High School math teacher was found not guilty of sexual battery Tuesday. Leo Pollard, 29, was arrested in May of 2011 by school resource officers and charged with one count of sexual battery on a female student on off-campus location. The case almost never made it to trial after a city judge dismissed the charges. Tuesday evening, the jury found Pollard not guilty. WDAM also reported that residents in Laurel will see an increase in their water, sewer, and garbage rates effective November 1st. WDAM-TV reports the Laurel City Council voted 5-1 to Tuesday in favor of increasing rates for the third straight year. City officials say the rate increase will go to helping repair the city's water sewer system. Mayor Mack says although residents are paying higher rates, the city hasn't raised taxes since the year 2001. Now, here's a look at what's going across the state. According to the Clarion Ledger, the Department of Labor has fined the city of Jackson close to $32,000 for violations of the Fair Labor Standards Act uncovered during a recent federal probe. The Clarion Ledger reported that the department began investigating the city in late 2011 after some unidentified officers complained that their superiors were making them work overtime without proper pay. The Jackson City Council on Tuesday agreed to pay the fine. Mississippi's Attorney General made a comment Tuesday that got the attention of the U.S. Department of Justice. Attorney General Jim Hood said Tuesday that voters in Mississippi will not have to show any identification at the polls November 6th. The U.S. Department of Justice wants more information from the state before it will rule on whether to allow the new voter ID law to move forward. This rule could take weeks. Looking at the national news for today, CNN News reported that the former Penn State assistant football coach, Mike McQuery, who testified that he saw Jerry Sundusky in a former um, in the shower with an underage boy, filed a whistleblower lawsuit Tuesday against the university. McQuery was a key prosecution witness and was the only individual excluding the victims themselves. Sandusky, who has maintained his innocence, was convicted in June for abusing young boys over a 15-year period. McQuery also claims he was the only former employee who was not reimbursed for legal fees and that he did not receive his severance payments on time. The lawsuit states McQuery believes those situations and his employment termination were the result of his cooperation with authorities in the Sandusky case. Penn State University spokesman David Latour responded to CNN with no comment regarding the suit. According to the lawsuit, McQuery is seeking $4 million from the university as the equivalent to a total lifelong salary as football coach with the school. Investigators search a rugged area near the U.S.-Mexico line looking for evidence in the fatal shooting of a Border Patrol agent. Nicholas Ivey, who was on patrol in the desert near Naco, about 100 miles from Tucson, was present from a, when a gunfire broke out shortly before 2 a.m. Tuesday. At a news conference in Tuesday, on Tuesday afternoon in Naco, an FBI official said the agency was still processing the crime and that it might take several days to complete. No arrests had been made, but authorities suspected that more than one person fired at the agents. 
President Obama and Republican candidate Mitt Romney will step into the ring and face off tonight in the first of three presidential debates. Tune in to ABC News today um, for live streaming, streaming coverage of the first presidential debate. This is the first of three of the debates, and they will be held in Denver, Colorado. The full debate coverage begins at 8 p.m. tonight. CNN News reports that an attack that killed 25 people, mostly students, at a Nigerian school Monday night appeared to be an inside job in which the gunmen called out the names of their targets. The attackers went to the houses of the victims, called them out by names, and killed them, police spokesman Mohammed Ibram said. Among the 25 were 19 federal polytechnic students and three students from the School of Health and Technology. The three others killed were a school official, a former military man, and an older gentleman. Looking at your sports news, the Southern Miss football team went through its regular Tuesday practice in full pads in preparation for the Boise State game this Saturday. The Boise State Broncos will be the third-ranked opponent Southern Miss has faced this, this season, having also played Nebraska and Louisville. Game time is set for 11 a.m. at Roberts Stadium. Tickets are available, so come and support and root for your Southern Miss Golden Eagle football team this Saturday at The Rock. For the weather, here's today's forecast. Um, you're looking at sunny to partly, partly cloudy. We may see a stray shower or thunderstorm today, so keep the umbrellas close. Our high today in Hattiesburg is 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight looks clear with a low of 58 degrees and light winds. Thank you for listening to Southern Miss Today. I'm Kaylee Collada for WUSM News.